Hi, I'd like to show you an enhanced feature on the OLS 4100, new features in our stitching capabilities. Looking at this sample, we can see only a small part of that sample. Even at our 5x objective, we're not seeing that entire image. So let's go ahead and start our stitching application. And let's take a quick panoramic view of that sample. And we can see here that the stage is moving and we're very quickly going around a fast image, looking at that sample, and pretty quickly I think you can guess what this sample is. So let's go ahead and let's watch as it finishes scanning the sample. Now that we've completed that initial scan of our penny, we can see that it's taking up about 20, 30 frames or so to capture this entire image. But we're still at our low resolution 5x objective. Let's move up to our 20x objective so we can get more detail. With that narrower depth of focus, we will get more height data in our image. We can now see these image frames are much smaller, but we'll definitely get more detail in those images. But now we're also capturing a lot of frames outside the penny, and there are still areas that we did not catch in that initial scan. Let's capture this penny round surface using the three-point circle. So we go to our circle, and let's go to our first point on the penny. We'll go to our second point on the penny. and to our third location. Now we can see that we're getting that circle, so we'll get all the detail in the penny and we will not get any extra space outside that is not required. In addition, there might be areas of the penny where we don't need as much detail or we, to increase the speed of the scan, we could leave out some of the frames. So by having this checked, we can do an exclusion area. And here, where there's not as much detail in the sample, we can select these frames, and we've removed them from the scan area. So this will allow us to scan a little bit faster. It will give us less scans overall, but it will allow us to skip that part of the sample that doesn't have as much detail. So we can go ahead and hit that start button and let the scan process begin.